Welcome Pisces Aries to your Astro Dice reading for January. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay friends, let's get in here and see what's going on with you. For those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month. Okay, let's see what's going on with you for the new year. Starting this brand new new year with this month. A lot of people are still taking care of a lot of loose ends from last year or even last month, which is about normal. Okay, this message. You got Saturn coming in to the seventh house. Ooh, with Libra energy, very nice. So, what is it? It is Saturn. Trying to take a challenge and figure things out. So there is something a little bit challenging to gain some wisdom. Um, it feels like it could be still coming from last year, or it might even be sparking this year. We'll figure that out. Is it last year or this year? It's going to be a little different for everybody. With the Libra energy, this energy is diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships. And going straight into that seventh house. Where is it? It is within the relationships. <laughs> Okay, so this area of your life is about long-term significant partners, romance, business, or family. And we do have the new cards as well. Uh, we have two new, brand new decks. We have the In the Shadows Oracle deck um, that we can use for romance and uh, just probably anything, business partners, anything that has to do with the relationships. And then we also have the moonology cards over here which we'll also be using so since we are talking about the seventh house we will use the in the shadows for a little bit of seeing what they're trying to say what is the challenge what seems to be the problem okay seeing how they feel about you and the situation okay getting straight into the situation the situation is taking place in the beginning of the month the middle of the month and the end of the month Community is upside down, so it's already talking about <laughs> how you're not having that communication and trying to figure out what the challenge is. Why aren't you communicating with me? What is going on in the community? It could be a neighbor. It could be anybody. It could be the business family. But the communication is not there, and it feels like there's this, I don't know, this kind of a block wall right there. And it, I understand where you're trying to see, understand this challenge. Why is this block wall there? You have the clearing the way. Okay, and let's see what the last card is. Push that up there. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. So, King of Keys got this new person coming in with the keys, King of Keys. So it feels like as you have this person over here who might not be talking to you, um, it does feel like you do have this new King of Keys coming in. So, okay. So, with the community over here, it feels like someone is kind of hiding out, not being as receptive as they should be. It could be a Scorpio or a Pisces, and it feels like they're kind of wearing their heart on their sleeve right now as they're kind of hiding out a little bit, uh, not being very generous to themselves or to you because they're kind of hiding out. Hmm. Definitely not as generous as they were. Definitely slacking and lacking. I just feel like they kind of ghosted you over here and, you know, and you're kind of just trying to figure out the challenge over here of what are you doing? With the clearing away, you're just trying to get your ace of coins. You're trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Are they going to give me the promise that they promised me? Are they going to do this? But you're really looking at the awakening over here and really aware of the situation at hand, knowing that it's kind of bad luck in some ways because it feels like they promised you something and now they're kind of walking away from the promise by you know, um, by ghosting you. So if they promised you this date or they promised you this job or whatever it is in your seventh house, you're really walking away from this situation and they really haven't been talking much. Yeah, they haven't been talking much. They're definitely cold shouldering you with the hermit. There we go. Definitely ghosting, cold shouldering, not answering the phone, text, however. But with the king of keys over here, it looks like you have this brand new opportunity that's coming in. It could be a love or a brand new job. Um, it could even be both. But it's going to make you very, very happy. 
bringing in the Ace of Cups. Wow, a lot of cups. So however the situation is, you do have this new opportunity coming at you. It feels like with the challenge, it's going to be the new challenge. The new challenge is um, trying to figure out what this other person is doing while taking this new job, this new opportunity. Um, and it does feel like you are going to go out on a date with this new person if it is a new person and you are going to maybe be celebrating with them. Um, just going out and having a really good time um, with this other person since the other one ghosted you. And if it was a job that they were supposed to call you back and you got this new job, you're not going to worry about it. But it is kind of worrisome, like, why? Why didn't you call me back? Um, with the Archangel Gabriel over here, you're going to have the communication that you need with the Ascending the Mountain. Wow. So whatever this new situation is, it does look like, yeah, you're not going to focus on them anymore. It does look like with the Archangel Michael that the communication that is needed um, through the new situation of the King of Swords swords it says keys but it's still swords <laughs> with a king of keys um is definitely showing that the archangel gabriel is coming through for you um guys the king of uh keys i also want you to know that that means your job is also doing very well so in the seventh house the business area of your life is very good because it's showing the opportunities to make a lot of money and going after your job okay so if you have a new job or you're unemployed and need a new job, here it comes, because it's showing that success within business. Um, and then within a relationship, it can show a person who makes a lot of money, okay? So who might even own their own business, who's coming towards you, okay? That's why I said for some of you, it might even be two in one. It could be a person who owns their own business, who gives you a job and wants to be your lover at the same time. I have seen that happen many times, okay? So... As the Archangel Gabriel over here says, there's a lot of communication, and a lot of happy, happy communication, and a lot of communication that's going to help you understand the challenge to gain wisdom over here. So whatever's coming out of this communication through the Archangel Gabriel is actually going to give you the wisdom that you need for this challenge, okay? We're also going to use the In the Shadows cards also to help you get to the wisdom and understanding so that you can help yourself also get to the challenge as well okay so this is going to open a lot of doors and give you a lot of decisions on what you need to do for um the mid month and for the rest of maybe even the rest of the year this is opening a lot of doors to love telling you for most of you that this king of keys is love and they're giving you a lot of situations and the communication between you and the king of keys now look I see the Gemini, I see, right, a lot of water as well, um, but it could even be a Scorpio, but I'm just telling you right now, it's showing this love and this passionate communication that you're having with this other person in the seventh house, okay? Where you felt it was faltering before from maybe a Cancer. Ascending the mountain is bringing in the dreams with the star. This person is very starry-eyed about you. Okay, and you are actually falling for them. And I do believe you're falling for them because they're giving you what you want. The communication. This other person hid out from you. They were promising you things and then they just kind of left. Right? And you're having the understanding that this could be the one. Right? But they know that you're the one and they really do feel that. And they're patiently planning on how to continue to climb this mountain with you and continue with this relationship. If it's a job, um, same thing, finding new ways to, you know, climb, climb over here in this opportunity of this job. The master artesian over here is upside down. So it does feel like no matter what the situation was with the past um, person who's hiding out from you, it does feel like, yeah, like you are separating yourself from that because you can't actually perceive what the heck these people this person is doing. They haven't come back around. They haven't said anything to you in the mid month. And you know, you are kind of, you know, you're paying attention to this new love. You're paying attention to this Gemini or this Libra or this Aquarius, or maybe, like I said, maybe it was a Scorpio. Um, but you are paying more attention to this new area of what this new opening in this new, new cup is. Okay. And so you have, you're making better decisions over here. This is still a little worrisome for you, though. What happened to this person? They, like, fell off the planet. 
They totally dissed you. Actually, you know what? Well, I'm going to keep that for the end because I, I want to know. And we are going to dig deep into the challenge to gain wisdom to see why this, what this person is thinking with these new cards. Okay, so in the end of the month, the faded meeting. It was a faded, see, this person is a faded meeting. This person, this Gemini, this Aquarius, this person that you're getting to know already is saying it's already a faded meeting. So it's almost like Spirit is saying, okay, the, the challenge of where did this person come from? How did this person come around? You know, why the hell are they here? Because it was fated to happen. So it's like Spirit is saying, this is the fated meaning of the Queen of Keys is the King of Keys. Oh my gosh, it was fated. And it's almost like the more you're determined to figure out the knowledge and the understanding of where this person came from, why are they in my life now? What happened? I'm trying to figure this person out, but I'm enjoying this person. Now Spirit is saying at the end of the month, you're going to come out to the conclusion. Here's the wisdom to gain the challenge. You guys are fated to meet each other. You guys are meant to be together. The Queen of Keys. They're teaching you also to how to be the Queen of Keys. I think they're entrepreneurs or something, and they're going to teach you how to run your business too. I don't know. But the Queen of Keys. And this brings the balloon down. So now the challenge to gain the wisdom is down. The balloon is no longer in the air. You figured it out. So with the faded meaning over here, it's saying this is faded. This was, this is a soulmate connection. That person, it's almost like that person, oh my gosh, it's so crazy. It's almost like that person ghosted you on purpose so that you could have this new opportunity come in or this new faded meeting. Where are you going to meet this person, whether or not that person ghosted you? That's a hard one to say. It could be a possibility. Recognition reward because you were looking for, but you were also looking for the answer. You worked hard for the answer and now the answer came. But it was almost like that a recognition and reward that this is what you wanted. It's almost like a dream come true. It's definitely their dream come true. They, I think some of you are dealing with Scorpio, um, but they do believe that you, they dream for someone like you. They dream for their soulmate. They were calling in a soulmate. Someone that wouldn't upset them. Somebody who wouldn't hurt them. Somebody that they can trust. Somebody who had strength. And strength within a relationship, and this is a very strong, energetic relationship. This is probably why when you ran into them, maybe that's one of the things you're saying. Why do I feel so connected to this person? That's a challenge to gain the wisdom. Why do I feel so connected to this person? Why do I feel like this person and I are supposed to be together? So with the Queen of Keys over here, it's saying you are. Oh my gosh, with the Queen of Coins. So with the Queen of Coins coming out, it's saying, yeah, you are supposed to be together. This is what you're supposed to be doing. This is where the nurturing comes in. They nurture you. They're giving you the love and the nurturing and caring. Um, they might even be very materialistic, and they might be even throwing material things at you because it seems like they might be a little materialistic. They've never seen a dream like this before. It almost feels like you weren't looking for new love, um, but that's too bad. So, that's... That's what it is. I wasn't looking for new love. I was just worried what happened to this person. Well, no, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was to the point where I was like, if you don't want to take it, I don't care anymore. I didn't even have my heart open at that point. I just was like, whatever. But then this person came in and they grabbed my attention. And that's exactly what it looks like this month is they're just going to grab your attention. You weren't passionately looking for anything. You were too busy over here trying to figure out why so-and-so ghosted you, whether it was a job or whatever is going on. Um, but this is bringing in, with this balloon going down and you figuring out what the heck is really going on, it brings this cycle. You are so happy for this new beginning. You don't have any anxieties. And it's like Spirit is saying, but we were waiting for the perfect timing. Because there was a determination for this sign, for this king of keys, 
They were determined to find their happiness, and you're the one. So they're persistently just coming towards you. Now, what happened to the other person? I don't even see them. No, nope, not going to see them. They're not coming back. They ghosted you. At least I don't see it now. Right? It doesn't mean we won't. Maybe we'll see them in the, you know, mid-month or something. Mid-month, end of the month, maybe we'll see them there. But so far, I don't see them. We already did the end of the month and the beginning of the month, so I didn't see them there that I remember. Unless I'm wrong. I don't know. I do so many readings. Okay, guys, so let's just see what... We're going to go to the person that ghosted you over here. What the heck are these people thinking? We need to get to the challenge mode over here. Since they're not going to come up and say anything about the situation. They just want to stay in Virgo mode. Clarify on why this person is ghosting them. What are they thinking? What are they thinking about them? What are they thinking about Pisces, Aries? Oh, that's too many cards. First card coming out is, I am different now. Oh, well. Okay. I do wish you well. Oh, really? And sometimes I think maybe I should have bought these cards. Maybe I, maybe we shouldn't use them. Oh. They do say, though, on the box, there is a hesitancy, though. This says they're kind of blunt. I don't know. This card is, I know I made a mistake. Next card. I pretend you don't mean that much. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Well, I guess that was it. Now let's see what the new person has to say. You know, we need to use these cards. <laughs> okay, guys, so we know that was blunt and owl. I don't even know if that was an owl or if that's a good thing. I don't, I don't know. Okay, let's see what the new people, what the new person says. Okay. So the new person says, I never want to feel that way again. Oh. oh, they were hurt. That's why they were looking for new love. Ouch. Man, these are giving me goosebumps. These are like intense. Okay, so they don't ever want to feel the pains again. Because remember it said that they they didn't have true love. That's why they were calling in a soulmate. Okay. Next card. I understand you better now. Uh, that's, that's a far future one. Thank you. I hope you're happy. Wow. Okay. So, you know, when I, when I see that, I hope you're happy. It's like, because they're moving towards you and it's like, I, I just keep thinking like, I hope you're happy with me. Like, I hope I make you happy. That's what I keep hearing. Like, I hope I'm making you happy. Wow. And throughout the time, of the end of the month, it's like they're understanding you better, you know, and I, I do feel like that's how you feel too, though, because you're getting that balloon down to like, why, why are you so connected to me? Um, and the more that you guys get to know each other, it's kind of like, they're saying, I understand you better now. Like I get you. Well, you know, it's, it's really cool. Um, these cards are really, really cool. And, and I just, you know, they never want to feel that way again. It's kind of like, man, that's heart. That's like, it's right for the heart. Right. Because it's kind of like, I want to find somebody who makes me really happy. And then you find that you, the two of you are feeling very happy together. And they're saying, I hope you, you're happy with me. I just, wow. This just, oh my gosh. And that's what it says. I hope you're happy for me. That one says for me. But I'm telling you, wow. It's just like every, I just keep seeing it. Like, I hope you're happy. But I just want to see the card that says with me. Because I keep hearing with me. So I hope you're happy with me. And then this one's, I hope you're happy for me. Wow. So I don't know. It just feels like that's all the same. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. But this person over here, they're just, 
they have a lot of emotional, I'm different now. I just feel like they just kind of went into a shell. They, something happened to them. Still going to keep you in that Saturn challenge mode of trying to figure out what's wrong um, with them. Okay. But otherwise, at least you get some understanding of what's going on. Okay. And getting you a moon card and we're all done for the overall message. Focus on the positive that angels say. New moon in Sagittarius. So just, you know, just focus on your positivity. Um, try not to focus too much on things that you may never get the answers to. And that's what, what it is. It's like you put yourself into a challenge mode. Um, you may never 100% understand, especially if they ghosted you. Um, your intuition will tell you as much as my intuition just did for you. Um, you know, and like I said, you know the person better than I. Um, but this is what I'm getting. Um, but just remember, focus on the positive and focus on this beautiful new love. Um, and it looks like for some of you, you even got a new job um, that's also coming in. So there's some beautiful things going on in January for you. So just keep positive, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.